Early warning weather with Chief Meteorologist Bruce DePriest. Well, anywhere from a coating to six inches of wet snow for today. Thankfully, we didn't get much more than that. Otherwise, there would have been some power concerns due to the weight of the uh, snow. Now, the concern for Election Day next Tuesday is the cold weather. It's going to be fair, but it's going to be cold at 6 a.m. when the polls open. Temperatures will be in the 20s at noon, mostly sunny, but only 40 to 45 at that time. And when the polls close at 8 p.m., temperatures will be falling back through uh, the 30s. So today's snow is on its way out. There might be a few leftover flurries here and there, but that's really about it. Look at the snow cover at stores. That part of the state uh, received anywhere from uh, two to six inches of snow. So a uh, wintry scene in stores right now. Meanwhile, there's our ICAM in New London where uh, not a lot of snow today, but there was some, but it's 36 degrees, a northerly wind at 15 miles an hour. So if you're going out on this Friday evening, you're going to have to really bundle up. These temperatures are what you would normally expect in December or January for this time of the day. It's cold outside and you got a northerly wind too. That's anywhere from five to as high as 15 miles an hour in places like Rotten. You factor in the temperature and the wind and in many parts of the state, the wind chill is in the mid to upper 20. So certainly bundle up weather for sure. And the snow is moving on out. Still a few leftover flurries, but the storm is uh, going away and off to our north and west. We have clearing skies that will settle in for tonight. So tonight, any leftover clouds will clear away. Tomorrow morning, it's going to be clear and Halloween day is going to be bright and sunny and absolutely beautiful day not very warm and we're going to have that snow cover that will be uh, melting away and then as we go into Sunday a southerly flow of mild air develops that means we'll have clouds and scattered showers maybe a shower in the morning and perhaps a passing shower during the course of uh, the afternoon on Sunday but at least it is going to be milder than tomorrow but tonight with the snow cover with the clearing skies and diminishing winds Check this out. Temperatures in the upper teens and 20s, the coldest night of the season thus far for sure. And your highs for tomorrow will be in the mid to upper 40s. But bright sunshine and the wind is going to be light. Here's your seven day forecast Sunday, a mostly cloudy day with a chance for a shower, but milder, a high of 57. That's good news there. However, it's going to turn windy and a lot colder again Monday and Tuesday. Highs on Monday in the 40s with a chance for a flurry. 20s Monday night and for Election Day, a high of 42. But a huge rebound again by midweek. Check that out. 58 on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Highs in the 60s. And I think that mild weather will extend into the following weekend. For the shoreline, a high of 47 degrees on Halloween Day. It's a crazy <laughs> forecast, How Bruce. About that? <laughs> it is crazy. <laughs> I'm looking forward to next Friday. Right? <laughs>